Hey, what's up, Integrity Fam? We're back with another episode for our Academy on XML, External Entity Injection, or XXE. And let's immediately have a look at our lab today. Once again, provided by Portswigger, but today we're doing something a little different, and you will see that in a bit. So we're going to hop over to one of the articles over here, one of the items that you can buy, and we're having this lazy dog. And yeah, it's available in London. We're checking the stock and it tells us that it has 514 units. And you have seen this in the previous uh, videos. We're just going to uh, burp suite. We're going to send this to repeater. And the first thing we usually do is we just send it to the application again and see if it's still giving us some valid output. And it does. So next up, we're going to check the post body again and we do see that we're having an xml structure and that is obvious because today we're talking about xxe but whereas in the previous videos we have been working on some other exploits today we're going to see if we can use an xxe vulnerability and turn that into a server-side request forgery vulnerability so we're basically chaining them and for that we're obviously going to say um, doc type again. I'm not going to explain the details of that. If you want to hear more about the details of an XXE vulnerability, go check out the video that I link in the top right corner. But let's see what we're doing today. So we're creating our entity and the entity's name is SSRF. It doesn't matter what name you give it to, but today we're going to exploit it and chain it to an SSRF vulnerability. This is why we just call it SSRF for now. And we're using the system command over here and go to HTTP uh, colon slash slash 169.254, 169.254. And you might be wondering right now, what is that? Like, why are we going to that IP address? How does that make sense? And I want to tell you why? Because we're going to try to retrieve instance metadata of an AWS setup. And if we look at this page, and I can link that for you in the description, it says if we go to that local IP address, we can retrieve metadata from a specific AWS connection. And as you can see over here, uh, you can go to slash latest slash metadata to start with, to get some idea what is running and to get some feedback from the AWS instance. So we're going to do that right now, right? We've just learned that from the AWS documentation and we're going to apply that in our lab or usually against a real life application. So make sure that we use the reference in that case right now, SSRF in our XML structure. So we're going to say ampersand SSRF semicolon. And then we're going to hit the send button. And what we're seeing over here, it tells us invalid product ID and we're missing metadata. We've seen this in the Amazon documentation before. So let's add that to um, our URL. We say slash meta minus data. We hit the send button again, and let's see what we're getting now. Now it tells us you're missing IAM. And I gotta add over here, this lab is super descriptive. I mean, it literally, it literally tells us in the server response what we're missing and what we have to query for. In a real life application, it will probably not be as simple, but AWS has a full flash documentation on that, so you could find it in there. And now we just keep going. Now we gotta go to security minus credentials. We're going to hit the send button again, and we see, oh, we're missing admin. Once again, slash admin, hit the send button again. And now we finally see something really interesting. We're having an access key and a secret access key of an AWS instance. And we see that we have successfully solved the lab. So if we hop over to GitHub, there's something else I wanna show you. And I will link this repository in the description as well. 
But what we're seeing over here is basically an instruction on what you can do if you find a certain set of keys by a guy called Street. Really cool repository. But without further ado, let's iterate one more time as usual what we have seen today. So first of all, we found an XXE vulnerability. And I don't want to go into the details, that's in the previous videos, but at this point we were trying out something new. We were realizing that sometimes it is possible to query the metadata API of a cloud provider. And today we were looking at AWS. There's also different ones, for example, Microsoft Azure or Google GCP. So make sure to be well informed about all those metadata APIs. And there's even more. But after that, we were using the information that we found in the AWS documentation and applied it to the post request. And we were seeing that we were getting some decent response by the application. So we kept going and one piece after piece, we came closer to the final piece of information that we wanted to retrieve. And when we found the keys, we just looked up on how to use them. And with that, you can make sure that the information you find is valid and has impact before you're going to report it, for example, to a Bug Bunny program. All right, everyone, that was it for today. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. Give this video a like down below, subscribe in the top right corner, and as usual, I will talk to you folks soon.